Hello, beautiful beings. Thank you for joining me again for these rambles about creativity. Today, we're going to continue working on the Peony mug. And for some context, in case you haven't seen, these peonies are covered in a material called wax resist. Um, goes on liquid and dries um, water resistant and so you can come in and paint over and later brush off anything that um, happened to get on the portion where the wax is so it creates a lot of opportunity for spontaneity and for painting with a bit more abandon and a bit more liveliness and that is really the place that i have found in creativity that is the most exciting for me and the most satisfying is this place bef between deeply intentional and growing skillfulness in executing something beautifully and also making space for and letting go of control in some way whether that is splashes or brushwork for instance here i'm using a pretty dry brush so that I get these scratchy and inconsistent lines that have a totally unique pattern and character all their own that I couldn't create or replicate if I wanted to. And this leads me into another one of the lessons that I've learned in making ceramics over the years, which is that each piece is its own unrepeatable moment in your learning process. It contains all of your wisdom and experience from every piece before it and is the seed for every piece that will come after it. And in my life, the pursuit of some idea of perfection really leads to a deep dissatisfaction with each of those steps instead of seeing them as their own captured moment their own their own time capsule of what your hands were learning and what you were trying and thinking and feeling in any given moment and i think the feeling part is the reason that I love the chaos because it I think it is most expressed in those elements of chaos it inspires me so much in the the singular stroke can communicate so much um, in terms of what you were feeling and the paintbrush is so responsive to that and part of the conversation with you and I love that I love being in conversation with the medium and allowing it to be itself and I struggled with this at times especially when there were pieces that sat on the shelf and I could see the places that I wanted to grow or be different. And at one point, I actually tried to be one of those potters that could could throw, throw away things, throw away pieces that they thought were imperfect or that people didn't want. And I got as far as putting them in the bin in the, in the big garbage outside of our house and crying until both my partner and little sister insisted I went back and got them and we literally went dumpster diving to retrieve them and 
I've learned since that it's not the way I want to treat any of these moments. That I want each of them to have a life and a home and be their own moment in time. I'd like to share with you the poem that I wrote after that moment. I broke the evidence of rejection. It only broke me further. Made no space, only shards. Made no peace, only scars. I longed for approval that had already been spoken for acceptance that had always been granted. Compliments could not shield me from my own contempt. Now, I am learning the spell to transform the weapon I use against myself into the mirror that reflects the bravery it takes to create the worth of every idea heeded, the beauty of each step risked, the wonder it is to bring existence to raw form. Thank you. Thank you for being here and being witness to this particular moment, this particular act of giving shape to this ancient medium. You are now always a part of its story. Wherever you are, and whatever you're doing today, I hope that it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And know that you are greatly loved.